In this video, we're going to look at concatenating strings and adding some integers in that. And what we mean by that is we want an output that contains several different strings put together. Uh, and then we're going to look at how we can add integers into that. So the example I'm going to use is we're going to look at a statement that says you are, let's say, 25 years old. So the way we're going to start this is we're going to set up a couple of variables. So we'll call the first one message1 and we'll assign that to you are and then we're going to set up another variable call message2 and we'll say that this one is years old and we'll skip down here a little bit and we'll just go ahead and print both of those so this is a concatenation two strings together so message1 plus message2 and when we run that we get exactly what we would expect. You are years old. So now in the mix we're going to add another variable and we'll call this variable years old. And years old should be an integer so we'll say 25. And if we add that to our message down here and we try to run that we're gonna get an error the reason why we get the error is because we have a string and then we're trying to add an integer to that and then we have another string so one way we can make this work is we can come up here to the variable itself that has this integer and we're going to turn it into a string so it's str and now Python's looking at this as a string not as an integer so when we run that we get you are 25 years old another way we can accomplish this is we can set it as a string here and when we run that we can see that that works as well so here we're keeping years old as an integer and changing it to a string here what that does for us is if we want to use this in a calculation so We're going to say minus two, um, let's say years old minus two. So we want to use this in a calculation, and then we'll come down here and we'll say min. We can see that we were able to do that calculation here. If we changed it from calling it a string here and calling it a string here we can see we get that error and even if we change this to a string down here we're going to get that error as well because we can't do calculations with strings here so by keeping this an integer here and then changing it to, to a string down here we're able to keep doing calculations with these integers and just output it all together now one other thing to point out is that if we have an input so let's say that instead of saying we're, we're 25 years old to start with, let's say that we're going to take years old and we're going to try to input that. So we do input 
how old are you? And we want the user to submit how old they are and assign that to years old variable. Well, the issue here is that any time that we input something into Python, Python looks at that as a string. So when we run that, how old are you? 25. It's going to give us this error because this is a string now. So because this is a string, if we say int for years old and run that, that works because this is a string here, years old is a string, and we change it to an integer, we do our math with it, so 25 we change is a string, 25 we change to an integer minus 2, which gives us 23, and we change this back to a string here. So when we do math, it needs to be the integer for right now. There's other numbers that we can use that we'll get to later on. But when we print it out and concatenate it with other strings, it needs to be a string as well. So we accomplish that by changing it back to a string.